Well, hi, everybody. I'm Giorgia Pregnorato. I'm a physiotherapist and a PhD student at the end of the third year of PhD. My supervisor is Professor Alessandro Picelli, and today I'll introduce you my PhD project. So I'll show you some results, but, but also some open points for the future. So my project is entitled Recovery of End Function After Stroke classification of voluntary muscle activation by surface EMG in patients undergoing task-oriented rehabilitation of the end. So which is the area of my research is neuro rehabilitation. So one of the aim, the main aim in uh, mm, as a physiotherapy is to provide motor rehabilitation to the patient to reach the higher level of autonomy in their life. So as an example, here you can see a patient that he is trying to um, grasp an object and take to another box. So you can see that the movement is not good coordinated, is has some um, problem in um, in a, in a range of motion. And also what is important for this patient is that they can't do very important activity of daily life. So here in the other video, after a treatment of uh, 15 session, you can see the improvement of the patient to do the same activity. So this is what is important in our rehabilitation to uh, provide exercise, new rehabilitation approach to improve motor function and also the level of autonomy in their life. So what is the main objective in my research project? So in these three years have collaborated with the more recognition that is a spin-off of Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia to develop a new device. The device is Remo, and we have certified the device as class one medical device. So Remo is a wearable with, composed of eight electrodes that can record and detect the muscle activation of the muscles during hand movement. So as you can see in the video, we can record and monitor the muscle activity only with the smartphone. A smartphone. So we are also um, develop the uh, the device as a uh, to control some interface that could be a computer or a smartphone to provide hand motor training. So using the muscle activation, we can ask to the patient to control the interface to do some exercise and to um, provide. Um, an improvement of their motor function. So which are the main results? So at this point, we have only preliminary data because I have treated 10 patients with the diagnosis of stroke, but we need more data to have good um, uh, significance um, data on efficacy of the training because we compare the use of the device against the, the, the treatment uh, without the device. So at this point, we can say that there is no difference between two treatments, but all patients recover motor function. So as activity, they can um, reach and take to the another box three blocks more. So it is a, a, a scale that is similar to the video that I show you. So they can reach an, an object and take to the other box. And at the end of the treatment, they can do three blocks more. So for the future, we are now work. We are now working on develop also some index based on muscle activation. So to compare the healthy subject in muscle activation to the muscle activation on stroke patient, and in this way we can have more index about motor function and motor recovery 
for physiotherapies and for um, for our rehabilitation. So what is the difference that this device could could uh, could provide in the community? So we can develop and test this device in telerehabilitation setting. So the patient can do some exercise at home and we can improve motor function, the level of activity, but also the level of autonomy. So this is a good innovation in healthcare system. And also I can say that is a new frontier for research because we have more data on our patient to monitor the progress in the rehabilitation. So thank you.